What's up, people? It is your boy Spaces, and today I know you see that title, and we gotta talk about it. Output RK 2.2, and all of you Arcadians, huh? Yeah, Arcadians are in for a special treat. So let's take a dive. Let's go. Now, before we dive into Arcade 2.2, you know you got to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those different things that you have to make sure you do when you come to the video. We growing, baby. We're going to get this channel growing to the next level, and it starts with you. And I want to say, even before you do it now, I want to say thank you for doing all of those different things, because I know you're going to do it, man. I know you are, because you want to see this channel grow just like I do. <laughs> Let's go, man. Now, I just got one question to ask. What do you do when Arcade continues to grow each and every time? And it adds something so special to it. We've seen it grow from stage one to stage two, and now we at 2.2. 2.0 opened so many doors with keynotes, and it gave you access to do different things that you was not able to do with the loops. It turned itself into a true synthesizer. So what happens when we add arpeggiator? Let's just see. Man, do you hear the endless opportunities that you can create from something like this? It is endless. It's endless of the things that you can do with some creativity, some arpeggiation. We gotta dive, we gotta check this out, and I'm your guy that's gonna take you through this thing one piece at a time. We're not going to be long. We're going to make this real quick because we're focusing on the arpeggiation. Let's do this. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm excited about this. Let's go. All right. So we're taking a look at Aura. Now, up in the top right hand corner where we normally just go to tweak, you'll see the normal layout here. And but you see the addition of arpeggiator. And when you click here, you have ARP A, ARP B, ARP C. Now, the way this is set up is based on the layer edit. You have layer A, layer B, and layer C. These are the assigned layers for the arpeggiation. So when you're looking at that, you'll understand that A is for A and B is for B, C is for C, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so we're going to narrow this down. We're going to turn all of these off and we're going to stick with the one. Now, this is ARP A again, which is in layer A. And when we play this, you will hear.
Now, things that you have to pay attention to when you see this. Uh, number one is this one little area up here. This is going to be how you create your arpeggiation. All right, so the very first thing here is the volume. You have the speed, you have your reps, you have your swing, and then you have your type of arpeggiation that you're gonna be doing. So if I click on this, you have the types here. You have up, down, up, down, I'm sorry, up and then down, and then up, down, down, up, zigzag, up, zigzag, down. Zigzag up, down, zigzag down, up as played, and then you can randomize. Randomize is going to definitely open up a whole new world for you. So as you can see with this particular arpeggiation that we have, you have your rate of three bars. So this is going to go three bars. You can change this to anything that you want to change it to. Um, you have all of the different uh, timings, uh, timing rates that you can choose here. You also have steps. Now, if I wanted to add more steps, I can just take this up and add more steps here. Now, let's also say if I wanted to add another sequence, I can click here, add another sequence. And let's just say if we wanted to set this at 116 here, and then we want to do this one at 116. Also, we'll set them both up for eight steps. This is going to be your step sequencing right here. Now, with the step sequencing, you can add this to however many it goes a long way it goes up to 32 steps uh but we're going to stick with eight on this particular one now parts of this the sequencing part of, that i want you to pay attention to is going to be you have volume and when you click this it will give you control over the volume all the way up to 100 percent you have your length how long do you want it to go you have your chords you have octaves you have your panning and your chance now what we're going to do and let's just say if we add another sequence and we don't really want another sequence you can go up here where you see this little pop up here and you can check here delete the sequence and it's there you can also go in here, you can copy it, paste it, and the whole nine, add more, add all you want. Now, what you should know is that this thing is endless. It's so many different things. You got to have fun with creating the different sequences that you're trying to get here. And so, as we look at this, with that in mind, just think about all the different things that comes along with this thing here so now what we're going to do is, is that i'm going to add up a couple different sequences and just kind of play around with it we're going to add a couple different sequences together we're just going to play around with a couple different things to just see how we how far we can take this and where we can go with this and see what we come up with so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start this at one layer at a time uh, I'm going to get really in depth, but I'm going to do it very, very quickly with some different things that that RK has that allows you to be very, very quick and come up with some really cool stuff. So number one thing is that we're going to look at is the volume. Now, you have this little dice button here, right? So if I'm playing, I'm going to hit this. It's going to randomize it. And then I'm going to go to length. I'm going to randomize that also. Then we're going to record, do the same thing. Matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from a pad so you can really hear what it's doing. Okay, so here we are. We're in something that sounds a little bit more so you can hear the actual things that it's doing. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and solo this. Now this is the basic analog sin here. We're going to randomize. Okay. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to randomize this. Now, as you know, there are also different things going on. These macros are moving along. They're doing whatever they're doing. You can create these to do whatever you want them to do. Doesn't really matter. They're going to act as normal. The only thing we're kind of focusing on is the arpeggiation, right? So now we're going to go to the length. We're going to roll the dice here. Until we come up with something we like. Then we'll go here to the core. We're gonna just randomize that. I'm gonna take all of those down. Okay, we're gonna go to the octave. Now you, we're about to get into the fun. We'll bring the volume down just a little bit so we can match everything else. Now if I wanted to slow this down, I can add a little swing reps, whatever I want to do. Right, so we're gonna do some panning. So you can start to hear that left to right. We're gonna go ahead and do some chants. Pretty dope. So now one thing I want you to notice is that here at the bottom as I play this, you'll notice some of the things, that some of them are playing outside of this, which means that the octaves, they, the octaves are set either too high or too low. And so you wanna pay attention to that as you're doing this. So I'm gonna go here into the octave and I wanna make sure I'm staying within about one, somewhere between one and two. just to make sure everything is playing. All right? Let's play around with the pan just a little bit more. I like that. Now, just so you know, you can do the offset at the bottom here. This is going to, as you see, if I turn this up, you'll notice here the volume is going up and down. This is just the offset. If I wanted to do that, I could do the same thing with the length. I could do that with the chords and the octaves. Now, here's where the fun comes in at. You can go to the layer here. Let's say if you wanted to change this up, you can add So you have all the control, right? Now let's just hypothetically say if I wanted to change this, I can. It don't have to be that. All right, for the sake of this, we won't even get into that. We're just gonna stick with what it is. Yeah, of course, you can still always move this around, but we're gonna just leave it basic. We're not gonna get deep today, okay? But we just gonna leave it basic. We're not gonna get too deep into this, all right? We're gonna, we're gonna stick 
We're going to stick simple. We're going we gonna to stay where it needs to be. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start adding these in, and we're just going to just let it kind of play to whatever. Uh, I'm going to do this one. And as you can see, the same things are here. Um, you can change all of this up. With the way this is going, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to do too much on this one. And then this one, now this is linked from ARP A, which is this one. So there's a link here. You can tell that based on this little deal here. It's linked. And so I'm just going to leave it linked. If you want to add it, you can. You can unleash the beast on this thing here and do whatever it is that you want to do with it. It does not matter to me. I say go for it, man. Do it all you can do. Now, and last but not least, if you ever create something that you really like and you want to keep it, you want to save it, you don't want to get rid of it, you can go right here to the preset, check off, save preset as, and you can just name it whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to say uh, demo. We're going to save. And now you can call this up whenever you need to. You just go in here and um open the preset from here so you just go and you can go to the basic all day you go down to user you'll see your demo you got fast moderate slow all these different presets that you can put in also now in this version everything else is the exact same you can do as much as you want to do i'm going to be doing more in-depth videos of this i just wanted to show you the basics of it and how you can really get control we haven't even touched the surface of automation or anything like that i just wanted to show the basics you know i'm your arcade guru no i don't want to believe all that <laughs> man shout out to all the people at output putting this stuff together behind the scenes i have i really wanted to dive in and understand it before i made a video of it so so i can make sure that you guys get a good understanding of what it is we're gonna go deeper we're gonna get more creative with it man just make sure you here to watch it when it happens so i'm gonna use this word one more time all of my arcadians i'll see y'all in the next video man peace out